What's up, YouTube? How's it going? It is your boy Breaks here today. Today, I've got for y'all a very special video. It's one in which I made... I, I, this is probably the character that pisses me the most off in the game, but I made him rage quit. And lately, I've been making a lot of these characters rage quit. And you'll see exactly what I mean soon enough. I don't want to fully spoil what's going to happen when we get into the game. However, I'm pretty sure I've so played this guy, this specifically this guy before on live stream while I was streaming and he did rage quit. It's just, I don't know, it's so satisfying. So basically he is playing Terminator and he's not just playing Terminator, he's playing that Gosh. illegal version of Terminator. The Terminator that's not allowed in Tournament Edition, the Terminator that's basically breaking the game. Why it hasn't been patched, I will never know. I don't understand Netherrealm. I don't know how their patching system works, but I guess they decided that they don't care about this. Ability that makes the character completely 100% and always invulnerable, and there's nothing you can do, and he'll have it back by the time it's over. Like, the second he runs out of his invulnerable, he's ready to just invulnerable again. He gains back almost half of his meter, both defensive and offensive, exactly as it ends. So it's like the most overpowered ability I've ever seen in my life. If he waits like five more seconds, he just gets another one for free. Like it's really, really broken. So since it's so broken uh, and I play a lot of casual matches online, just because tournament, uh, the ranked version feels like a grind for me. It doesn't really feel like it's a skill based thing. It's more like who plays the most. And I don't want to just grind out games for hours and hours to get to a rank where I'll actually get some challenges. I really just want to get online and play some games. I'm sure some of you guys can relate to that, especially because in my comment section, you guys tell me all the time, oh, I don't even play ranked. Whenever you see me play ranked and you're like, oh, I don't even touch that. So I do understand that some of you guys know exactly what I mean. You just want to get online and play Fight. matches. But the Terminator with this invulnerable form, he only really has two ways to beat it. And it's not even a surefire way to beat it, right? Because because the way in which you have to beat it requires skill. One of them is a counter. You can counter his moves and it will completely break his armor. So that is, I, in my opinion, the most effective way to beat it because the only other way to beat it is to use your fatal blow. So you only get one of that in, you know, two rounds and you only get it when you're at super low health. So it's not really a reliable source of beating Terminator's armor mode because it's not something you can just do whenever a player just armors up as they can armor up like five or six times in a match. You only get one fatal blow in a match, you know? So, so you have to have a more consistent way of beating it. And the way that I have found, it's actually the reason why I started playing Sonya is I can just counter it. And once I learned that I can counter it, then I have been having so much fun playing Terminators online. I'm like, yes, come, come to me, you trash. Where people like just make this invulnerable, I can't lose mode, and I just hard out play it with counters. It feels so satisfying. I really feel like this is something that needs to be addressed, honestly. Like uh, Netherrealm, you, they have to deal with this. They really do. They can't leave this in the game that much longer. I mean, it's been a year and they haven't touched it, right? But he needs to, let's say, even if he maintains getting it back as fast as he does, maybe he should not be able to block after because it looks like he can block. Maybe he should not be able to block and take an additional like 5% on all damage that he takes after that because he's essentially completely invulnerable. If you're not playing a character that can counter and if you're not at like 10% health, you're not beating it. It's You just have to run. So you need to have something to balance this system out. However, maybe that's just my opinion. So I'm curious what you guys think about this character in the comment section below. Let me know how you feel about this. If you think it's an issue or not that they need to address and be sure to subscribe and leave a like because Aftermath is coming soon.